Hey everybody, welcome to Wacky Wednesday number 63 on the Mandalik. I'm John as always, and it's time for some Holiday Cube 2012. That's really out of date. It is the Vintage Cube now. They have finally changed the name. I swear they changed the name a couple of years ago or last year, and then it just didn't stick for some reason, but they have officially changed the name to Vintage Cube now. This is a little bit different than the Legacy Cube. This has power. This has Lotus. This has the Moxes. This has some crazy stuff in it. Uh, I haven't actually read the article, but I have heard that they have removed some of the broken turn zero and turn win one, uh, turn one win conditions uh, that used to be in this cube. Uh, we didn't get to do this last week like I really wanted to because MTGO was having some issues, but MTGO seems to be back and working fine. So we're going to jump into this queue and I will see you for pack one, pick one in a cube that I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. But hey, that makes it fun. All right, here we are, pack one, pick one. We've got ourselves a Mox Jet. That's pretty hard to pass up because it's just fast mana. Uh, there's an Avenger of Zendikar, Dragonlord Dramoka, Elspeth, Huntmaster, good old Progenitus. Uh, Venzer, there's a Wasteland. There's some good stuff in here that I would like to pick up when I know what I'm in, but I'm not going to pass up a Mox Jet. I mean, it's just it's fast mana. It can go in literally any deck just to be ramp. And then it can go in a deck where I'm playing black just to be that much better. So I'm not passing a Mox Jet. We are taking it. Wish it wasn't Phantom, but so be it. All right, we get past a Disenchant, the Abyss. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, keep destroy target non artifact creature that player controls of his or her choice. Interesting. Archangel of Thum, Olivia Voldaren, Chapter's Phoenix. In Tome, we could try to go Reanimator. That's tempting. I haven't done Reanimator too much. Polluted Delta, Deceiver Exarch. There's half of a, uh, whatchamacallit? There is a Sulfuric Vortex. I could just go Mono Red. Oh, tempting, 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 tempting. Ah, uh, Sulfuric Vortex. Ah, uh, I don't know. There is also a sword. Um, uh let's go wacky <laughs> let's go wacky we're gonna go within tomb and try to get some cool reanimation targets and get some reanimate spells hopefully um fiend hunter shale dread um swords shale dread what do you do your six six swamp walk i get to reanimate things that's pretty good and uh, my opponent sacks things so i think we'll take shale dread here uh, we really need to look out for Buried Alive, which I hope, or not Buried Alive, uh, although yes, Buried Alive, um, on Burial Rites, uh, which I think is in the cube, as well as Animate Dead, uh, Reanimate, those things. But I think we'll take Shield Red, that's a good reanimation target, uh, and then she can reanimate more things. Angel of Serenity, you sort of reanimate, right? Yeah, because I can take things out of graveyards, and then when Angel dies, they come back to... Oh, no, they go back to hand. They go back to hand. Massacre Worm. Massacre Worm would be a good reanimation target. There's Diabolic Edict, which is just good removal. Um, do, do, do. Let's take the Massacre Worm. Man, I hope I get the reanimation spells. Um, what do you do? Exile target card from the opponent's graveyard. If there are no cards in that graveyard, flip it. And then these are fun to read on Magic Online. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Well, then, you are a reanimator of sorts. Um, there is not much else going on here. So let's take Nizumi Grave Robber. Man, I hope I... Oof, yeah, <laughs> yeah Grizzlebrand. You're, uh, you're something I would like to see. Um, yup. Let's get all the reanimation targets now, and then hope we get the reanimation spells later. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre is just discarded when it damages. It's a good creature. Um, well, if we push into black-white, which would be awesome if we get on burial rights, then Sun Titan's a good target as well. So let's take Sun Titan. Um, short Fang. Discard a card. If they have no cards, flip it. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player loses one life for each card fewer than three. So it's the Rack. Black Vice. One of the two. Um, or a Spear. Or the Bird Angel. 
or a Silumgar. And let's take a short fang. Never played with it. Why not? Banisher Priest or Mesmeric Fiend. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we'll take Banisher Priest. I think we'll take Banisher Priest. Oh, so we've got Grave Robber and Shield Red currently for reanimation. I could still get on burial rights. I could still get reanimate dead, or or animate dead rather, or reanimate. Um, living death, I believe, is in this cube, which would work as well. Need some discard outlets. Uh, I've got Entomb, but I need something more. Not sure if Una's Prowler is in this cube or not. Uh, the Sulfuric Vortex came back around. Why? Why? Um, well, Archangel of Thune seems fine. Why did nobody take Sulfuric Vortex? Take that and just go mono red and just laugh all the way to the finals. Um, Bloodline Keeper, Fiend Hunter. We're going to take Fiend Hunter. Uh, Angel of Serenity. Why not? Why not? Uh, Johnny or Sin Collector? I think maybe Sin Collector. Gain two life. Plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. That's pretty good. Um, no, Sin Collector. Get the removal spells and whatnot out of my opponent's hand. Manatize. Manatize. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to play Burst Lightning. We might play Manatize, but probably not. Exalted Angel, you're fine, but I don't super want to play you. I love that Ex Exalted Angel doesn't have Exalted. Uh, Exalted did not exist at that point. It has fake lifelink. Triggered lifelink, if you will. Um, Ulamog. You go to the graveyard, right? You're not like the old ones. Um, ah, yeah. We're not passing that. <laughs> we need that pretty bad. Uh, we are going to take on Burial Rites here. Maybe see if we can get Ulamog back around. Um, I would take a Mirren Crusader. I would, I would even take a Skin Render. Uh, but we are not passing on Burial Rites because we kind of really, super kind of, sort of really need that. Yoink. All right, what do we get here? We could reanimate a Hound of Conda. Um, ah, Buried Alive. Yeah, that is uh, that is totally what we're taking. Oh, I hope recur Recurring Nightmare must be in this cube. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take Buried Alive because that will get our... Let's get rid of Exalted Angel for now. That will get our creatures into the graveyard. Um, him to Turak. Animate Dead. How's it going? That's the one where I lose life, right? Equal to CMC, is it? Um, or no, when it enters the battlefield... Uh, it loses enchant creature, graveyard gains enchant creature, put into, yeah, so weirdly templated. Um, okay, no, it's fine. It just gets minus one minus. So oh, that's super fine. Animate dead. In you go. We are building the reanimator deck. Una's Prowler. There's a discard outlet. Exactly what I was talking about. And there's nothing else I super want anyways. So Una's Prowler. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. Uh, Sidisi, if we exploited, could go and get us uh, whatever it was that we needed. Uh, there's a top. Uh, there's a sword. There's a silver blade paladin. Uh, pack rat is actually just a discard outlet. So I could play pack rat turn two. Discard crystal brand. Discard massacre worm. Get what I want. Make a bunch of rats. I like it. I like it. Enlightened tutor. What do you get? You get an artifact or enchantment, so I could go get animate dead. Now let's take pack rat. Feeling good, feeling good. I think now what I want is just removal to finish off the deck. Uh, there we go. I heard the sound. Uh, I knew we were getting another pack. It just hadn't started yet. Corpse dance. Return the top creature card of your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste and then exiles. Eh, I don't know about that. Bone Shredder, however, is just removal. Um, Day of Judgment is also <laughs> removal. 
board wiping removal. Hmm. Kind of wouldn't mind a board wipe. Yeah, let's take a board wipe. Blade splicer, utter end. I think utter end is uh, what we're going to take. Duress. Yeah, let's take utter end. Some removal, just what I was asking for. Unfortunately, I know I saw Godless Shrine go around, and I know I saw Isolated Chapel go around. I don't think I've seen Scrubland yet, so we could still get some fixing out there. Kozilek, you do get shuffled in. Yes, you do. So you are not for us. Dark Confidant, you are not for us with our massive casting cost creatures. Honor the Pure. I guess we just go with Thalia. Just a two-drop. Just a boring little two-drop. Yep, let's take her. Deck's almost built. We've got another entire pack left to go. Ulamog and a Marsh Flats. And a Mirror and Crusader and a Skin Render. Um, oh, I'd love to reanimate Ulamog. Um, yep, it's Wacky Wednesday. Let's do it. Ulamog. So the only one of these that I even slightly would want to get rid of would maybe be the Angel of Serenity, but even it's super good. I guess I can get... I have that other Nizumi, right, that I don't really want. Short Fang. Yeah, I don't need Short Fang whatsoever. Um, Braids, Hound. Braids, what do you do? Each player sacks an artifact creature or land. Eh. It's more of a stacks kind of thing. Uh, I guess we'll take... Nobody's in red. Wow. Because um, there's a Dragon Lord and a Roast. Uh, yeah, let's take the Hound, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to play it. Witch's Orb, Soul to the Pantheon, Urborg. Yeah. Let's take an Urborg, I suppose. Geist. Wow. Angler. <laughs> Screw it. I'm hating out the Geist. I don't want to deal with it. Um, Sidisi. Yeah, you can go in. Um, let's get rid of Stromkirk, because I don't want to deal with early stuff. And a Rashad and Port. What do you do? Pay one tap at a tap target land. Eh. I know it's good, but I don't quite have experience playing with it, so I don't know how to super effectively utilize it. All right. Deck built. Pack three. Let's polish the deck. So I'd be happy to get rid of Thalia. Uh, Mokstrat just kind of counts as a land, actually. Um, yeah. Brimaz, uh, bad land, your black red. Um, journey to nowhere, brain maggot. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a mana encounter on it. For as long as that creature has a mana encounter on it, it has, uh, oh, so it's illusion. No thanks. Um, journey to nowhere is just oblivion ring, right? How is it different than oblivion ring? I can never remember. Uh, exile target creature. Uh, Oblivion Ring's permanent, right? Um, Brimaz. I feel like I need removal, so I think we might take the journey here. Yeah, let's take the journey. Baneslayer. Worm Coil. Go for the throat. Holiest of moliest. Um... I feel like I just have my reanimation targets. I don't need Bane's Lair. I need removal. So yeah, let's take go for the throat. And let's cut uh, Thalia. Yeah, let's cut Thalia. Bitter Blossom, Leon and Arbiter. Living Death, yes, please. Each player exiles. It's a board wipe, and then uh, all the creatures come back. Oh, there's an ultimate price, too. Um, yeah, I'm going to take Living Death. Of course I'm going to take Living Death. Uh, let's ditch. Or no, we don't have to ditch anything, because Mox Jet is a land. Let's just remember to put that back in. <laughs> ah, Reanimator. I like it. I like it. I think we're doing okay. We've got Una's Prowler for Discard Outlet. We've got, um, where'd it go? Buried Alive to go and search. We've got Packrat for a Discard Outlet. Yeah. 
This should be good. Should be good. Doesn't Tome have flashback or anything? Or it's just a one-time, just a one-time use. Um, Liliana. Necropotence. Faith's Fetters. That is removal. Hmm. Liliana, what are your abilities? Uh, each player discards a card. That's pretty good. Return target non-legendary creature card with converted mana cost. X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Um, hmm. Do I want a Liliana? I don't know if I'd put it in for anything. Um, maybe Sidisi. Well, Sidisi does give me what I want. I prefer, like, Demonic Tutor or something. But, you know, you get what you get. Uh, Archangel, I guess, isn't that amazing compared to the rest of my things. Yeah, let's ditch Archangel. Let's take Liliana. Um, Bayou, Black Green, Wrath of God. Wrath of God is just explicitly better than Day, right? Destroy, destroy, they can't be regenerated. Um, Hallowed Spirit Keeper, Life Bane Zombie. Mm, yeah, let's take Wrath to replace Day. Uh, Dark Petition, Vampiric Tutor, I get a card for two life. Dark Petition, I get a card for a crap ton of mana. Uh, hey, Pestermite. Um, yeah, let's take the Vampiric Tutor uh, in place of something. Uh, Armageddon, Damnation, Dismember. Ooh, Randomate. That's the one where you lose life equal to CMC. Do I want Reanimate? Yeah, I think I do. Let's take Reanimate. Um, nothing here for us. What are we afraid of? Not much. Let's get rid of the silver heart. Um, burp, 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 burp. So the creature just dies when it becomes. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't exile or anything. Ooh, it's instant speed too. Yeah, let's take it. Gonna have to make some cuts. Several of them. Well, three of them, but that's still several ish. Um, do I need two fiend hunters? Maybe I do. I don't need Sin Collector. Sin Collector can be sideboard. Um, hmm. Um, Baneslayer? Sure. Let's take Baneslayer. Sun Titan, you get back permanents that are three or less. Liliana, Fiend Hunter, Banisher Priest, Journey, Grave Robber, Prowler, Pack Rat. Is reanimate? Sorcery. Um, ooh, ultimate price. Man, I'm going to have to make serious cuts here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sun Titan... Uh, I mean, it's a fine target. Alright, I guess I have a lot of reanimation abilities, right? Reanimate... Animate. Nazumi if it flips. Um, makeshift mannequin on burial rights. Shale dread if I get her out. Uh, let's take Necropotence. Don't think I'll play it. Maybe I don't need the board wipe. Maybe I side the board wipe in in case I'm up against some really fast deck or something. Um, let's take Spirit Keeper. War Reaper. Oh, I should have taken Fire Blast there, actually. Although, uh, last pick, Exquisite Firecraft. Yeah, nobody's in red. Um, three more cuts. Holy. Holy moly. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. How much removal do I have? I have Ultimate Price. I have Go for the Throat. I have Fiend Hunter. Banisher Priest. Banisher Priest. Utter End. Living Death is a board wipe in and of itself, even though it could potentially help my opponent. Journey to Nowhere. That is a fair bit of removal. What's the weakest removal here? Um, yeah, let's just cut Banisher Priest. Um, 
So reanimation targets. Ulamog, Grizzlebrand, Shieldred, Angel, Masquerim, Sun Titan, Angel. Uh, maybe Sidisi. It's a fair number. It's a fair number. Um, the discard, discard. I like both of those. Grave Robber I like the idea of. I just... I'm not sure how frequently I could empty their graveyard. So maybe that's a little bit too cute. And then one more cut, eh? So reanimation abilities. We have Makeshift, Living Death, On Burial happens twice, Animate Dead, Reanimate. That is a fair bit. Especially with Living Death. Uh, I never saw a Recurring Nightmare. Somebody else must be playing it. Um, hmm. Maybe I cut reanimate? Because I don't want to cut more removal. I don't want to cut another creature. I'm already down to 12. Is reanimate the weakest? It's the cheapest, but it also may deal like 8 damage to me. Or 10 damage to me. Uh, yeah, let's cut reanimate. All right, I think that's going to be the deck. Looks fun. Looks super fun. We're going to put in Mox Jet. We're going to put it on Urborg. Then we're going to add 10-5. Ten 10-5? Five. Ten five? Uh, everything's a swamp anyways with Urborg. So let's make this 9-6. 8-7. No, 9-6. Nine 9-6. Six. Nine six. Add to deck. 40 cards, 16 lands, plus a mox. Yeah, I like it. Should be fun. Should be very fun. Um, hopefully we do okay. Hopefully we win a match or two or three. Um, but I will see you guys for match one, where hopefully we uh, do some reanimation shenanigans. But see you guys for that.